everybody, Dr. Greg, a Better Love Podcast, episode 12. Thanks so much for joining again. This week, we're going to be talking about how we can navigate uh, conflict, but just our life with someone else, knowing that in every conversation, every experience we have with that person, that they're going to have their own experience. They're going to have their own perspective of those conversations and those moments. And so this is a really important thing that I think the masters of long-term relationships definitely understand and they work well with, which is that they see their partner uh, first as their best friend. So they see them as a friend, right? Uh, they don't see them as an enemy. Uh, <laughs> they don't see them as an adversary. They see them as their friend. They see them as their teammate. And so, uh, particularly when conflict arises, this is when we really get a sense of, oh, wow, we have a different perspective of what's going on right now. And uh, that's understandable. We're processing information through our own minds, our own frameworks, our own past experiences, our own traumas, our own disappointments, our own all the things. Okay, so we, and they, you know, filters sort of it's a lens in which we view the world through these experiences and that's not a bad thing it's a good thing it's uh, this is who we are this is our life right so we want to know what our perspective is we want to be clear about what that is we want to be clear about what we feel at any given moment of a conversation with our partner about the thing that we're talking about we want to be able to communicate that to our partner in a gentle way so that they can come to understand us and understand our perspective and understand our experience of, you know, whatever it is, right? And you might be talking about a regrettable incident, right? So maybe you had a conversation the night before that didn't go as well as you had planned or wanted. Uh, maybe even started out as a good night, you know, that happens. You might be on a date, you know, might be having a great night and then something happens and you might not even know. You can't, you're looking at the thing that happened, but you don't really understand um, what's going on. So you gotta communicate with each other what it is that's really on your mind and really on your heart. And if you're in a team, or on a team, I should say, um, that celebrates that, you know, not always being on the same page, not always agreeing, that's not gonna be the case. Actually, that's the good news. You don't have to always agree, but that you're always gonna pursue understanding of each other, right? Even in conflict, even in, con actually, especially <laughs> in conflict, you're gonna pursue understanding of each other's perspective because you recognize the truth that you're perceiving this world, this life, even each other through your own lens, your own mind, your own heart. And so you want to understand your partner. If you love them, you want to understand them. And I hope you do. I hope that's something that you, you focus on in your relationship this week. What has happened this past week, perhaps? You can even reflect uh, on it right now with me. What has happened in this past week that you're really grateful for, right? What are those beautiful things, right? We want to think about those things. Um, I encourage you to think about five of those things at least each week and share your gratitude with your partner about those things. And we want to think about regrettable incidents. That these, you know, because these situations uh, give us insight into what it is that we have to work on with the person that we love the most. And so there are opportunities, opportunities to grow. And so what, it is, what, what is it that I maybe wasn't hearing, right? What is it um, that I didn't understand? about what was going on there. Or if you're the person who's feeling misunderstood, then also recognizing, oh, that's right. You know, my partner also has their own experience of this, and so I have to bring them in the loop, right? I have to give them what is on my mind and on my heart. So I have to share with them. If it's joy, share the joy. If it's sadness, share the sad sadness, whatever it is to be able to share the emotional experience, the thoughts behind it, the story behind it, whatever it is, do that. So let me give you 
a very specific example of an aftermath conversation that might help you actually reconnect to your partner, um, re-engage that bond, feel that closeness, feel the warm and fuzzies, you know, remember why you love them so much or why you like them a ton. Um, we want to get to that place after uh, conflict. You're not always going to get to that place, but we would love to get to that place after there's been some conflict. And uh, the Gottmans have a structure of formula, and I like these things as a former Marine Corps sergeant. I appreciate structured things that, you know, people, anybody can look at and say, okay, this makes sense. Let me do it this way. And that's sort of what this is an aftermath of a, um, a fight or a regrettable incident. It's a, it's a structure to do that. You can learn how to do that with a therapist who has specialized training in the Gottman Method. And so I hope you look into that or just go to their institute. They're good people. They're smart people. They've got awesome stuff. Their heart is in the right place. So the GottmanInstitute.com, you can read about their research and buy stuff there and whatever else. But um, it's a you know they're great people and all all good people there, and I so I trust that when I when I find an instrument like the aftermath of a regrettable incident or fight tool uh, or instrument, and I give that instrument to my couples and they use it and they benefit from it. Then I want to share it with more people. <laughs> Makes sense, right? And so I'm sharing it with you today on this podcast. An aftermath conversation is super important to get on not the same page, right? We're not trying to find agreement after something, a disagreement necessarily, but we want to find understanding. And then we want to give each other something, and I'm gonna talk about this often on this podcast. So if you want reminders about how to love well, how to love uh, with gentleness, how to love with the perspective, a positive perspective of your partner, with and keeping positive needs and desires and wants as the goal communicating those things then definitely subscribe to this podcast so that you can get this message on a weekly basis and if you again you want to hear stuff on a daily basis definitely go visit um, the instagram channel at a better love studio i'm having a ton of fun sharing awesome you know, just fun stuff on on instagram and tiktok as well but here's the deal ladies and gentlemen how do you do this how do you sit down and have an aftermath conversation. Let's talk about it. My suggestion, and I've made this suggestion before, so if you're listening, you've heard this, my suggestion is that you should spend at least an hour or around an hour each week with the person you love the most, all right? So we're talking about you folks who maybe you're dating, you're falling in love, maybe you you were in a relationship for a year or something, maybe you just got married, uh, maybe you just had a kid, who knows? But you're in that place and you're thinking like, what do I do on a weekly basis? What can I build into my schedule, into my life, into my rituals with this person, with my partner that are gonna amplify our love, that can help us really reach our fullest potential in this relationship. And I'm telling you, the state of the union conversation, right, is a phenomenal way, an hour a week, you touch base with your partner, you give them the five gratitudes that I talked about earlier uh, today. And then you have, maybe you have an aftermath conversation, the thing I'm talking about right now. And how does that look, right? Again, I'm not gonna go into detail right now on this podcast. You should seek couples therapy if you really wanna improve your skill set and get that specialized attention and care. Um, this is just information. I want you to understand that, listen, the biggest thing is just to carve the time aside. Right? The biggest thing to carve time aside is say, every week I want to touch base with my partner about how awesome our love is doing, right? And where and what things I want to just kind of like invest our energy into a little bit more. And that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, we want to normalize in our relationships that we want our partner we want our partner to feel okay and like good that we actually sit down and have a conversation to see like okay like what's going really really well in this relationship i want to just be grateful for that that stuff with you and then also share like oh this thing kind of like i wish we could do this thing better right and that's what this conversation is about and so an aftermath conversation gets you to a place there's about five steps to it, and like I said, 
Um, but it's a way to get to a place where you understand each other's perspective, even though you're coming from different places, right? And then you get to give each other validation around your reality, which is su super, super important, right? And, and then you get to, the last thing you do in that conversation is you get to say, you know, how can I love you better, right? So how can I, how can I do this better? Or how can you do this better? How can we do this better together, right? That's the, uh, that's the goal. Is that you're on the same team, you're trying to love each other well, you're trying to develop a healthy relationship that's going to have the best chance of success in the future, and touching base with each other, and making sure you actually understand each other, you know, particularly in conflict, is going to be super key to keeping that love alive and strong and fierce. So thanks so much for joining this week. I appreciate you. I appreciate you listening to this podcast. I wish you all the love in the world. Please take care of each other. Remember that they're your best friend and um, love each other well. <laughs>